turn. That would be scary. Nobody I... got close. Victor, I need you to settle down. He, he could have gotten, he could have been. Victor. What? If you don't stop, you know, stop having that, that right now, I'm taking that shit off. <laughs> so we were turning on a road and the bus. According was... to him, the bus, you could fit a piece of paper between my bus and the, the bus and my car. According to him. That eyesight. But what's really, what really happened was that there were about four to three to four feet between me and the bus. Okay, so, so he's being a drama queen over here. I'm just like, the bus didn't even get that close. Me, drama queen? What? What are you talking about? That's absurd. You're, drama you're dramatizing right now. <laughs> I love you. Are you though? Yes, I do. Sure. Yes. Tell. I'm marrying you in a month and ten days. Eleven. Eleven days. I don't really count today. I'm hunting tomorrow, actually. Oh, so you're, you're still tomorrow? off by one no matter what. Oh, right. Actually, you're right. It's 31 days this month. Yes, it is! <laughs> it's called Halloween. You heard of it? Yeah, it's like my, one of my favorite holidays. The one day where I can be anything I want to be. All right, moving truck. Breaks. Anywho, we are going to go on an epic adventure of errands for days. And they're still working on this roundabout. It's still working. That's the first time I've seen them working on it ever. They've been working on it for like six months straight. Yeah? So they're not still working on it. They came back to working on it. By the way, my sister is ignoring all my texts and all my calls. Cool. Sounds really productive. Very productive. <laughs> Do you know why she's ignoring you? I have not a clue. But I have a theory. What's your theory? <clears throat> Agreement that I made with her before I left. In two days, it's supposed to be the day that I'm supposed to pay that thing. You both are right. such children, you know that? What do you mean? I'm you're the one you're being just a child adult. In general, and she's doing more of your calls like a child. I mean, I literally called her, text her, and I literally have a valid reason yeah, why I paid her. Did I say ignoring you? Did I say about you ignoring her? No. Exactly. They said we're being childish. You are childish. And she, she's being childish by ignoring you. I mean, that's I'm, not, that's my not nature gave me childish. Well, not always you childish. You're clearly hey, reading too much into what I'm saying. There's Diane! <laughs> Victor, you're overthinking what I'm saying. Okay. You are childish. And Beth is being childish. I hope she never sees this live video. No, you're here, probably not. She's like the most anti social media. Script, I'm just knitting. That's it. Watching crime videos and reading books. That's Beth for it. Yeah, so we're going to the post office to mail something to her father, Tanya's father, and then we're going to go to Mud Bay, get the cat some new toys, then we're going to go to the mall and get me a suit slash some uh, private stuff for her, and then... That's underwear, dude. Just say underwear. Okay, we're getting her new bra. bra. Just say underwear, underwear, I said! Underwear, bra. What's the difference? Uh, underwear's more vague. Vague? Yes. Thanks. Thanks for that. Oh. Okay. I'm sorry. There are many different kinds of underwear. There's only one kind of bra. Hey. <laughs> and then we're gonna go shopping food and go home and uh, relax for the rest of the day. I will be going back to the gym. Um, haven't confirmed what gym yet. But probably gonna return to Planet Fitness because they're cheap. Pickup trucks. And they're literally right by my entire apartment. So I can literally go there after work or before work. So, Tanya's gonna take care of that. And uh, I'm gonna sit here and love you. <laughs> oh man, life has been something else. I've been going through a lot of things the past couple months, just with moving into Tanya's, leaving my sisters changing social security stuff, changing addresses, going through jobs, like underwear. Um, it's just been one bump, bumpy ride the past couple of months. And losing friends and having said lost friends, one of them coming back and haunting me, then he disappears and then he reappears and doesn't say anything. And it's just, I've been dealing with that for a while. And then on top of that, um, dealing with the life of working at Lazy Boy, it's not as cracked up to be as I thought it would it's, it's the thing is about working at LA lazy boy sorry lazy boy the thing that's funny is I really enjoy the job 
I like how it's slow paced. It gives me time to think and process whatever I need to process. It's a good place to be. Honestly, if I'm going to keep it real, I've been thinking about leaving Lazy Boy because I'd rather be home with my fiance and let her be the full time worker. And then me, I could focus on my endeavors here on YouTube, but also focus on my schooling, which I've committed to one chapter a week. One chapter. I'm in no rush with this at all. And so until Friday, yeah, Friday, I have till now to Friday to finish chapter one, learn and memorize the key verse in the chapter, and then... Uh, finish writing in my notes on it, so. <sighs> the enemy has just been bombarding me for the past couple days, using my past, using my addictions against me, so I've been struggling with that a little bit. Struggling is, as in talking about it, not so much struggling, struggling as in doing, per se. But anyway, I've been just been wrestling stuff out and, you know, something that came to my mind is that the enemy will often want us as believers not to do the will of God. So often the enemy will send people to discourage you, to discourage you from doing the will of God. I had this guy message me on TikTok and I had to end up doing the whole video actually. It was a video I did with uh, Violet Bullard and I did a blue face basically and someone from my past was like "Ooh, yeah blueberry sissy mode and he's gone other things in a couple other videos that i ended up having to delete but it's like i just had to block the guy today just like no the voice of the enemy is not going to get through and discourage me and convince me otherwise the truth is whether i'm one to men or not the enemy wants me to be bisexual the enemy wants me to be unhappy and searching for love in all the wrong places and wants me to be discontent the enemy does not want me to become a pastor the enemy feels very threatened by that and it's i i don't fully understand why well no i do understand why because he knows i can do damage to his kingdom truth is i have never felt more convinced in my life to be a pastor um this idea me processing thinking praying about it started years ago um it's been four years since this thinking process has started but before i could even actually invest in being a pastor i have to first overcome stuff in my own life issues that would prevent me from being successful as a pastor and successful that's not the right word effective being an effective pastor. I love my fiance to death. She is the most important thing in my life. She is the second most important thing in my life other than God. And she is one of the people that's sat me down and said, Victor, you should become a pastor. I love how you treat people. I love how you handle situations. I love how compassionate you are and full of love. I love the fact that you don't let things take, bring you down. Some other things she said. She's not the only person that's come to me and said, Victor, should become a pastor. I've had at least four to five people come to me. Now, what does that look like? I don't know. The more I think about it, the more I pray about it, the more I struggle with it, the more I feel that I'm called to be a pastor. Now, I'm not called to be a pastor of a mega church or even lead, you know, like a whole church. I don't feel called for that, at least not right now. God has not confirmed that, but he has confirmed that I meant to invest and help people who are young men like myself. I'm called to help men that are younger than me who are dealing with or similar issues to my own that I've gone through and dealt with. And so that's going to be a journey in itself. Yeah. So that's where I'm at with that. Um, I wish there's a way to share. Share! Sorry, I had to share onto my social medias really quick as I'm live. Um, what's this? Start a poll? No. Okay. No. 
I'm actually experimenting with all these buttons. Mute microphone. Save highlight. Okay. Anywho, God is good. Life is good. Um, as I said earlier, I'm getting a gym membership. So I'll be starting to go work out at the gym again. Um, I've been just really focused lately on work, mostly, in my YouTube channel. And Wow, dude. I'm sitting right here and I'm recording. You think it's wise to just open your door blindly and almost hit the car, hit the car? Okay. <sighs> so the reasons why I'm I'm going back in the gym: one, it helps motivate me to keep my job at LA Fit. Lazy boy. Second reason: take care of my health. I have not been emotionally, I'm starting to emotionally not do well, <laughs> partially because it's the holidays, but also I feel really discouraged with work right now. Um, I didn't get any sales this week, so my feelings are a little lower than usual. Thirdly, it gives me time to be by myself in a positive way. Um, there's time where after work, in between work and home where I want to be left alone or I want to play games, and I can't really do that when I'm at home. My fiancé loves me too much. She loves to cuddle with me and be by my side and talk. And Did I mention cuddle? <laughs> and <coughs> I can't do that when I get home sometimes because I'm just not in the mood. I'm only thing I'm thinking of is get on my outfit, take a sh sh long shower, and get some proper food into me, and that's about it. Oh, speak of, of my lovely fiance. I swear I didn't lock the door. Well, I did. So guess what? Wait, you locked the, Why would you lock your own it's door? Called, you... It's called a stage. little thing called a habit. Oh. I'm sure you've heard of them. Yeah. That's this pesky little, like instinct to do something yeah and you can't help it and realize you made a mistake after you do it yeah there. it's our address book of everyone we're gonna murder no. actually it's just all the people that have given me their address in my life which is a very short list because <laughs> i don't keep in that word i write all my addresses down too in my journals so there's always an update what's the front of this book say Addresses. I got specifically for addresses. Oh. You should try it sometime. Seems organized. Anyway. No. <laughs> nope. And you just have to keep the things in your journal like a freaking fool, don't you? Mm -hmm. <sighs> I know, the reason, it took, so long, the reason mm -hmm. it took so long was because I grabbed the wrong envelope and he said it's, it's easier on customs if I grab the right envelope. I'm not sure why the envelope matters, but whatever. So I did. Okay. It ended up being like 10 bucks. Because international shipping is not cheap. Yeah. For something that small. Yeah. Her... The car isn't even on. Oh my gosh. So keys are important. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. It's okay. I love you. I really appreciate you didn't laugh at me. I, 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 I'm just chuckling. It's nothing personal. It feels very personal. Okay. You messed up in front of a clerk as it is. I'm yeah. trying to drive! Okay. Okay. You can drive. Come on, lady, go! So, with that being said, I think I've talked enough. I'm going to spend some time with my fiance for the rest of the day. And. My truck. Don't wave at him! It's my job! What are you getting angry at us for? I wait for like three different people to leave my site. Wait for one. Are you actually watching him like a freaking stalker? No, I'm wondering if he's going to be crazy and follow us. Nobody has ever followed me, Victor. Okay, so there's a story I need to tell you. So my friend Michael um, was driving on the freeway once. I know you should have turned that video off. Hmm? I know you should have turned that video off. Yeah, I was going to tell the story. 
So my friend Michael, which who you met, is the one you met. Uh, I lied. has followed me. I was twenty. So that means it's been thirteen years since anyone has followed me. Okay, that's fair. Anywho, I was trying to tell you, this guy literally followed Michael from Lacey all the way to the Safeway parking lot in Olympia, just to harass him. Like people are crazy, especially men. Men oh, are the. A woman. It was a woman that followed you. Yep. Wow, that's a rare exception. You know what's really funny is uh, in my story, a cop was coming towards us the other direction, and she pulled over to talk to him to tell him how bad of a driver I was being, because I guess I wasn't checking my blind spots. Cause I just started driving like a, just recently, so it's not like I was that great at driving yet. And so she hassled him because of something I did. And so all I could do at the rearview mirror was look back and be like, bye. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I never saw her again. That's probably for the best. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm figuring out to talk, stop to talk to a cop. I'm not sticking around. Nobody got hit. That's the thing. Nobody got hit. So I was obligated to do nothing. Hmm. So I don't know what her freaking problem was. Like, I should have just upset that I had a close call. Whatever. <laughs> Those calls suck. Yes, they do. There's no reason to freaking make a vendetta about it, though. Couldn't agree more. Gotta love road rage. With that being said, <laughs> thank you for watching, folks. How many times have I been almost hit? What did I do? I honked on my horn, and it was the rest of my day. I may have been, I may have been upset for like maybe.